Hi, in this video I would like to make a quick, uh, quick introduction to JPA and the REST web services and some of the features that uh, NetBeans provides. Um, first of all, we have a, a database and we want to, um, to expose this uh, RESTful web services for our uh, project to use. So we need to create them. So uh, we'll create the RESTful web services from database. Here I will, I will select the sample database that comes with uh, JavaDB. Uh, I will add the tables and the related ones are included as well. Um, here I will change the package and these. And let's leave it default. And the classes will be automatic, uh, automatically generated. We can see here that we have our entity classes and we have our services. Now, these entities are essentially the tables of our uh, database. Since uh, Java is an object oriented language, it's uh, preferable to use um, entities, objects, instead of uh, querying the um, the tables of a, of, a, of a database. Although we can uh, we can uh, use uh, plain SQL as well. So we can see here that the uh, that our entity class, the customer one, um, relates to the table customer in our database. The named queries are um, JPQL queries that are used and for example the find all uh, query selects uh, all, cu uh, all customers from all the entities. We have uh, our table column names. This variable address line 1 relates to the column address line 1 in our database. Uh, we also have the relations between the tables. Um, for example, the discount code uh, variable relates many to one with uh, with the other um, database table. The, um, the service here, the packet service, has the essentially session bins that are used as uh, that are used to expose the methods. As a RESTful web services, uh, the path is this one, the customer one. The entity manager is created in order to uh, access the database, and automatically some of uh, of the methods that uh, we can use are exposed as web services. Uh, there is a create uh, method, an edit one, in order to um, in order to uh, to alter the to alter the database. Uh, of course, we can create our own uh, methods and uh, have the functionality that uh, we want. In fact, we don't even need to automatically create the these classes. We can simply uh, create our own uh, Java ones and annotate them with a path and. It's exposed as a, uh, as a web service. In order to test our uh, services now, we can create a JavaScript client. We will call it um, REST client. I will use the table sorter UI and I need to select the resource I want. This is the customer one. Um, the HTML file, uh, we can say customer rest. Uh, 
uh, now in this JavaScript file, we can see that the URL root that is used is the one that we have um, that we have selected in our uh, project. It is the uh, vs dot entities dot customer one that we have in our um, in our facade rest here, and the one that uh, extends the web resources class. So if we need, if uh, we are to run this file, it will show us all of the customers that are uh, that are present in our database. And this is it. These are all the customers that are present in our database. And we can also uh, create new customers and save and, uh, and delete them. So this is a very quick introduction to JPA and uh, RESTful Web Services with uh, NetBeans. Um, thank you very much for watching. And give NetBeans a try since it uh, provides some really solid functionality with, uh, with uh, web uh, services. Thank you very much.